of Canada against Ross Connolly of Scotland in the men's 65 kilo category. There is Lachlan McNeil, 21 years old, five foot ten. Ross Connolly, 22, had his birthday a couple of months ago. Big cheers for him. Plenty of people here to cheer him on. Coming on to Matt B now in the men's freestyle 86 kilos. In the red seat. And we're underway. Bit, bit of an unfortunate clash just nine seconds in. Connolly down already, both players rubbing their heads. McNeil goes over, but uh, Connolly's the one who's going to be checked on. See that one again, there we go. Absolutely nothing that either could do about that one, trying to get in, to get into a good position, to get a grip on one another. Heads down, you often, quite often lead with your head, leaning out with the arms, almost as if you're getting in the front row of a scrum. Connolly's back up. It's from Cumbernauld in the central belt. Number one in Scotland. Made his debut on the Gold Coast four years ago, finished 10th. McNeil, though, making the early running here. First points are going to go the way of McNeil. And two times two for Lachlan McNeil. McNeil was actually born in Bahrain. Oh, they're going to have to dry the mat off a little bit, maybe. A little bit of sweat down there. Born in Bahrain. Uh, lives in North York, Ontario. That's just north of Toronto. And for those of you getting up very early in the morning in Toronto and around Canada, a good morning to you. Lachlan McNeil doing you proud early on. Has a four-point lead. His father, Callum, represented Great Britain at the 92 Olympics in Barcelona in the 68 kilo category. Lachlan McNeil's real citizen of the world, though, born in Bahrain. Born up in North York, Ontario. He's a Tar Heel. He goes to the University of North Carolina. Most outstanding wrestler in the 21-22 season. Took bronze in the Spanish Grand Prix, one of the prestigious European tournaments that you have in the first half of the year. Big tournaments in Spain and Italy. Well, the mat's been mapped. Uh, <laughs> the mat's been mopped. And Ross Connolly from Cumbernauld is back out. I was going to say he's wearing a, a headband, but he's not. He's obviously been given some running repairs. You can see there, blood was drawn after that early accidental head clash, and then out came the blood during that double takedown from Lachlan McNeil. So McNeil has a four-point lead, and we're only 40 seconds into this bout. Seems to have been going on for quite some time. A little bump of the head again. Obviously, there are hands and legs going everywhere. And it's going to be tough for Connolly to keep his cut forehead out of the line of fire. McNeil not interested in that, though. He's looking to get a grip wherever he can. 
for a flip for a takedown or a pin he's got a good hold here and the referee is going to let this eventuate there's a two there's another two and there's three in a row and Connolly's out McNeil is through five two pointers for Lachlan McNeil he is through for Ross Connolly heartbreak out within a minute and a half it took a lot longer but he was always on the back foot after that accidental clash of heads very tough on him that again was a quarter-final Connolly had got through earlier in a round of 16 match But it is Lachlan McNeil who gets through 10-0 and he is into the semi-finals.